Good morning. This morning I'm going to complete the Microsoft Outlook assessment test on LinkedIn. So what you have to do is you have to log into LinkedIn. Um, I normally click on my profile over here and then I scroll down and look for where they have take skill quiz. Click on this and here they're offering me microsoft powerpoint or outlook i want to choose microsoft outlook i can tell you that it's going to be 15 multiple choice questions one and a half minutes per question score on the top 30 to earn a badge so let's try start each can be assigned two default signatures for Let's see what that option is. None of these. Email account, new messages and replies or forwards. User, new messages and replies. User, new messages and replies or forwards. I'm going to stick with um, email accounts, new messages and replies or forwards. When adding an email account to Outlook, why might you need to enter the server settings manually? The server is not on the list of Microsoft approved servers. Outlook cannot detect the proper settings for your server automatically. You do not have an email server. You did not write your password. Outlook cannot detect the proper settings for your server. Which is not a good reason to create a new calendar? To use as a shared calendar with colleagues, to keep track of personal events in a work setting, to isolate meetings and important dates for a project team, to have a different view of your calendar. Um, I would I would definitely stick with to have a view, different view of your calendar. Don't see why that would be um, one that you would need. What is a key difference between flagging a message for follow-up and creating a task from the item? You can set a reminder for task but not for flagged items. A task can be assigned to another person while a flagged item cannot be delegated. All of these answers, the flagged messages appears only in the inbox folder, the task appears in the to-do bar and task list. I'm going to go with all of these options. How can you quickly locate emails with large attachments? So I would say has an attachment and filter bar is large. What is the fastest way to find a message sent by Bonnie Bradford that includes an attachment? I would say search for has attachments and then filter by Bonnie Bradford. Under what conditions can you successfully recall a message? I would say only when the recipient is also using Outlook. Outlook auto completes email addresses you have used previously, including addresses that you mistyped. How can you remove an incorrect autocomplete suggestion? Wait until the suggestion appears again, then highlight it and press the delete key. That's the option I'm going to go with. What permission allows your delegates to read? create, change and delete items that they create but not items that you created. That is an author. You created a meeting for next Tuesday 2 p.m. and several invitees have accepted. How do you change the meeting so it will begin at 1 p.m. and last for one hour? Open the calendar in day, week or work week view, drag the start time to 1 p.m. and send an update, double click the meeting to open it, change the start time to 1 p.m. and send an update. Some people have already accepted it, 
so you must cancel this meeting and create a new meeting. I'm going to choose option A or B because those two can work. When you at mention a colleague in an email message, what does not happen? The at appears next to a message in your colleague's inbox. Your colleague's name is highlighted in the message. The at symbol appears next to the email in your sent items folder, sent folder in Outlook for Mac, or the colleague is automatically added to the to line. I'm going to say this is the not happen. While using focused inbox, you notice that Outlook sometimes puts important messages from a specific customer on the other tab. How do you fix this for future messages? Right click a message that was incorrectly organized and click move to focus. Right click a message that was incorrectly organized and click always move to focused. Close the Outlook application and relaunch it. Locate that customer in the People Hub and select Focused Checked Box. I'm going to choose the option right click a message that was incorrectly organized and click Move to Focused. Actually, always move to Focused. Oh, time expired. What is an appropriate use for a voting for voting buttons? Asking your colleagues to choose their favorite lunch spot from a list? All of these answers. Asking your supervisor to prioritize a list of tasks. Sending customers a three question survey about a recent service experience. I'm going to go with asking your colleagues to choose their favorite lunch spot from a list. Why might you create an additional contacts folder? All of these answers. To store contacts to share with colleagues. To make it faster to search your contacts. To avoid exceeding 500 contacts per folder limit. I would go to store contacts to share with colleagues. In the Outlook interface shown below. Why is the show as conversation option grayed out? Show as conversation is grayed out. The inbox folder is sorted by size. The people peak is open and Sally Kerner's card has focus. Focused inbox is being used. The people peak is open and has focus. I'm going to choose this, the people's peak is open and Sally Kerner's card has focus. Great work. You earned a badge. You're on the top 5 of 1.1. So that's great. Earned a badge. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. And I appreciate a thumbs up on this video. Thank you. Goodbye.